Hey guys, Levelcap here, and today in gaming, leaked screenshots from the Battlefield 6 reveal trailer might be genuine, Raven may be nerfing a popular shotgun in Warzone, the Apple vs Epic legal battle begins, and much more. Two screenshots of what might be from the Battlefield 6 reveal trailer leaked over the weekend. They show scenes of a rocket launch from a peninsula or island. Supposed leaker Tom Henderson previously released sketches of these scenes from the game's reveal trailer. These new screenshots look like they're the same two frames Tom sketched. As for how genuine they are, it's tough to say. Visually, they look like either fan-made renders based on his sketches or official footage from early development. Several elements are missing textures or details that you'd expect DICE to add. For example, the heads-up display on the screenshot looks rudimentary and cartoonish compared to DICE's typical design. Small details like the lack of realistic motion blur or other weather effects on the helicopter windscreen also stand out. Of course, the wrinkle in this story is that posts of the images are getting taken down, presumably by EA and DICE. Several copies of the images have been floating around on image sharing sites, but they don't seem to stay online for long. That said, we've seen them shared in other YouTubers' coverage, so claims about takedowns seem a little disingenuous. DICE has historically taken a pretty hands-off approach to leaks. For example, in Battlefield 5's case, data miner Temper Yao would routinely leak new guns as videos of them being used in-game. DICE never took down any of these videos or seemingly did anything to prevent him from maintaining access to future content. Ultimately, these images are just as credible as any unconfirmed leak or rumor. They could be entirely genuine and still be misleading or somewhat inaccurate of the final product. They might also be fake. No one can say for sure. As always, your best bet is to treat these screenshots as speculation until DICE releases the actual trailer. Realistically speaking, we're likely weeks if not days away from a proper reveal. Even if these leaks prove to be genuine and the reveal trailer is epic, well, that still proves nothing about the actual quality of the final game. Basing your expectations on a game's marketing can be a tough call. DICE have a lot to prove considering Battlefield 5's reveal was so controversial, and its lifespan was fraught with missed opportunities and bad decisions. Simply put, we won't know if the game is good until it's in our hands. Anyway, let us know what you think about the leaked images in the comments, genuine or fake. Additional balance changes might be in the works for Warzone. Raven tweeted that they're looking into the Street Sweeper shotgun. Changes are in the works for it, but they didn't reveal any details. The Street Sweeper is one of the commonly available loot spawns in Warzone. While it's not exactly a super-powered death machine, players having such easy access to an automatic shotgun at the start of a round can make those opening moments especially punishing. Raven are also patching up more areas of Verdansk 84 that let players get under the map. This particular exploit was all the last week until a patch removed all the known spots. But since that patch, players have discovered new areas that will still allow them to abuse the exploit. For obvious reasons, this exploit's a pretty big deal, but it's really good to see Raven communicating about it. They've been much more talkative in general since the launch of Season 3. Hopefully, it's a trend that continues. Players were incredibly frustrated by the lack of communication and meaningful balance changes during Season 2. The Epic vs. Apple court battle kicked off this morning in grand fashion via Zoom. The companies are suing and countersuing each other over the removal of Fortnite from the iOS App Store, and it's sure to be one of the most significant legal battles in tech history. However, the trial's opening was yet another reminder that Zoom's privacy controls need some work. The call for the trial has a public line that anyone can tune into and watch from, but that public line allowed spectators to unmute their mics. As a result, dozens of viewers started talking and playing music over the proceedings. The court eventually got things under control and silenced the public line. It'll be interesting to see how the actual trial plays out. Court documents have also revealed info about future games from witnesses like Microsoft and Sony as part of the case. Probably the biggest reveal is that Stalker 2 will be a three-month Xbox exclusive. The document that revealed this info is probably from early 2020 though, so it could be wildly out of date. The documents also show that Microsoft was considering decreasing their sales cut from 30% to 12% for console games. They recently reduced their PC game sales cut to 12%, but they decided against it for console games sold via the Xbox Store. 
2018's Dusk had some big updates announced. The latest update for the game added the ability to delete save files and continue the next mission on the mission end screen. There's also a new max loadout button that gives you all the weapons and max ammo at the start of a level. These are relatively minor quality of life improvements but have been heavily requested since launch. More substantial updates are coming later this year. Features developed for Dusk's console port will be added back to the PC version when it launches. These include a weapon wheel and an improved world map. The most significant additions are Steam Workshop support and co-op. The game has been rewritten from the ground up to be fully moddable. These updates don't have a release date but should be out by the end of the year. It sounds like Valve might finally start banning CSGO account boosters. CSGO has several limitations that restrict new accounts from joining ranked matches or playing a certain number of matches per day. Getting around these restrictions is time consuming. Boosted accounts are regularly sold to players looking to smurf or who need a new account after receiving a VAC ban. But Valve just permanently banned a user for using such an account. It's unclear if this user bought the account or engaged in boosting activities themselves. Valve's email to this user explicitly outlined that trading or selling boosted CSGO accounts is against their terms of service and will result in those accounts being banned. Rainbow Six Siege is getting a new event tomorrow called Apocalypse. It'll run for two weeks and features an updated version of the Burnt Horizon map. It sounds like this event might tie into the reveal of Rainbow Six Quarantine, the co-op survival game spin-off of Siege. That game has been delayed and is potentially getting renamed to Parasite due to the real-life pandemic. Footage of it leaked a few weeks ago from the closed beta tests, and while it didn't exactly impress, it still looks promising. Dark Souls developer From Software might be delaying their next game, Elden Ring, until 2022. They revealed the game back in 2019, but the developers haven't said anything about it since then. That's not really uncommon for this studio, but a recent fiscal forecast documented by the studio's parent company clarifies not to expect the game until at least March of next year. PC players broke through the restriction on the final Resident Evil Village beta. The developers put a 60 minute limit on the demo, forcing you to restart the demo from the beginning when it runs out. But PC players figured out that removing a few key files and setting up Steam in a specific way resets the timer. Considering that the game launches on Friday and that the demo is technically walled off so you can't progress beyond a certain point, it seems like a lot of extra work just for a little reward. Before we get to our final story today, I'd just like to say thank you for tuning in. Let us know what your expectations are for the next Battlefield game in the comments. We're curious to hear what you have to say about the leaks and speculation. Details about the Day 1 patch for Mass Effect Legendary Edition leaked recently, revealing critical improvements to performance, stability, graphics, and more. The funny thing is, the patch is bigger than the install size of the original game. It's roughly 12 gigabytes, which is bigger than Mass Effect 3's install size of 10 gigabytes. Of course, the Legendary edition includes all three of the original Mass Effect games with updated visuals and gameplay, but it's crazy to think that a single patch for it is bigger than one of the original games. And that wraps it up for today in gaming. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.